Hello guys, welcome to my channel Take It Take Place and uh, today I have brought the Streamlit series. This is the time when I am going to start the Streamlit series development and uh, just be with me so that I can explain to you each and every component which are developed as part of this Streamlit development. I am going to the main agenda for this series is to explain about this open source streamlit technologies what are the built-in components are developed which we are going to learn here and same I'll be I'll be trying to explain to you to implement into a real-time projects like suppose how you're going to use the panda libraries how you're going to use the numpy libraries how you're going to use some other kind of libraries python based libraries into this streamlit project this is our main agenda which will be learning to make our data suppose if your dream is to become a data scientist or machine learning engineers then you are at the right platform i'm going to teach you all about all about these technologies in depth please subscribe my channel so that i can bring such kind of videos interesting videos in very easy way to learn the development okay then without wasting our time let's start our video the first thing is that to start this development what you need to do in your local system your local system must have the python software you can download python software from your official website of python and one more uh, libraries you have to python libraries you have to download which is nothing but streamlit you, using the pip command python manager command you can download this streamlit and same can be used for this project going further i'll be explaining what are the different other libraries which we are going to install for our projects okay for now for time being we are going to start with these two softwares which is nothing but python and streamlit please install it and then after I start doing the first hello world program okay now i've already written just you what you need to do you, in your local system what you need to do you just need to create one directory under this directory what you need to do you need to create one hello world program i've already created the python program hello world.py under this what you need to do you need to import the streamlit direct streamlit library because most of the components widgets all these details all these implementation is written under this streamlit libraries by importing it we can use those features okay now i've already imported here import streamlit as st shortcut name as i've given alias name as a st which i'm going to use to make a call of the existing function of the streamlit library for this example i've already taken st dot title i'm just going to assign one title for this project and title name is hello world first app just store it just save it once it is saved we have to execute this program using the streamlit execution command just open your terminal i'm using macbook that's why i'm going to use my terminal but suppose if you are going to use windows based system in this case you need you can open command program either you can open powershell you can do the program over there then i'll just open my terminal here my terminal is here i have already opened the terminal okay now my terminal what you need to do uh, here here is showing one virtual environment for the python development i have already created one virtual environment uh, suppose a virtual environment how to create the virtual environment you can learn i'll be uh, preparing another video for this how to create the virtual environment into python says uh, in your local system for the python based programs okay that you can create just activate that virtual environment and then after you can go to your specific directory like 
currently I have this st.tutorial I went to the particular folder st.tutorial okay now what we need to do okay now I'm going to execute this first program okay to execute the programs what is the what is the command a streamlit we have to use this streamlit a run and which program you are going to run hello world.py then type that one hello world hello world.py it will execute your program and it will deploy your project locally and the local url is http colon double slash local host colon 8508 it is running on the port 8501 and network url is this is your as per your ip address it will be preparing one network url as well now currently by default the project is deployed already and it opened with this browser the first app is already opened this is what our the first app developed using streamlet now this is one of the feature which we have used i'll just move this uh, terminal to different position and i will open my visual studio code so that i can explain you the code now this is the i'm using here the built-in library to print the title of this project the similar way this is a web application and its deployment is so easy i'm not we are not using any third party kind of softwares for the deployment purpose it is internally using streamlight internally using the web servers to deploy the application okay now this is the first application which is already opened here now our next video which i will be bringing some more interesting components widgets how we are going to create the headers how we are going to create the sidebars how we are going to create the hamburger menus how we are going to how we are going to define the content of a web application body content of web application how we are going to define the footers the typical website how we are going to build each and everything we are going to learn in depth and all these you can also learn if you will subscribe my channel Thank you so much for listening the complete video, for watching this complete video. Thank you so much for your help. Please subscribe my channel so that I can bring such kind of interesting videos to you. Thank you.